I'm really happy to be here today. Uh, so, uh, uh, and this is this will be the conclusion of my retreat. So, and instead of doing an ending fire puja, this is this is a, a wonderful way to uh, close my retreat. So, um, uh, I wanted uh, Geshla to have the high seat today, so I could be a little bit invisible. So, this um, retreat, I wanted to do a dark retreat. So, um, uh, no one knows what you're doing, <laughs> and no one knows who you are, like that. <clears throat> So if someone asks how's your training going, you can say, well, just watch my behavior. You'll see like that. So I'm delighted that um, uh, Ishla can talk on the uh, parting from the four attachments, a very profound Lojong text, um, uh, which several of my teachers have gone over and um, we can go over today. So I'll be part of the discussion, but, I really wanted to have the power of the mic today. <laughs> so, um, as people know, um, Geshe Gent and I um, uh, are dear friends that go way back, you know, very much uh, helping me through different phases of my Dharma career and uh, is helping us with our Delek and Chapman program, which is a big deal that we're doing. So primarily, uh, uh, this temple is meant to be an outreach to the public, providing a healing sanctuary, um, providing a place where people can uh, gather, providing a place where people can learn what right livelihood is and, and wake up. Do you agree? So the, the Lojong teachings are essential, uh, not only for that, but also for those who um, want to do, or if they are doing, or actually might be doing a uh, highest yoga tantra practice also. Don't you agree? Mm. Okay, so uh, I'm looking forward to um, what Keshla has to say today, and he's looking very healthy, so I expect a, a very impassioned um, and uh, delicate uh, talk today. So thank you, please, please continue. Okay. So welcome everyone. And uh, yeah, um, before I started Lojong, I wanted to mention a few things in coming to my mind and uh, such as uh, um, Dharma Center like this, and a lot of practitioner, and um, I've been visiting different places and meeting different um, sanghas and practitioners and so on. And uh, one uh, just um, finding um, like a I would say it's sadness or maybe um or maybe how to put it in other words it's kind of a um person who understand dharma pretty deep and studying pretty well and then they they don't have a uh the um, faith or, you know, like um, understanding. And uh, I'm just looking for scholar, which is practitioner. You understand Dharma quite well, but then you don't practice. So once you don't practice, <clears throat> don't, really, don't get what the what the instruction says, what the Dharma says, what the teaching says. Uh, we just kind of um, uh, example to you just um, have a mental health issue or physical health issue. You go to see the doctor or psychologist, so on, and then they have a 
according to their understanding and they have medicine and uh, and uh, um, work to do it. So you 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 know what to do it. You don't do it. It's then there's no way to heal your mental health issue or physical physical health health issue. So therefore, just very much even uh, you go to these. Uh, um, highly scholar professors, religious professors, Buddhist professors, but they understand it very deep and they they just understand pretty deep philosophy and Buddhist religion, Buddhist science also, but they don't have a really, they don't practice. Uh, they are not practitioner. They are just simple scholar. So these um, dharma is all about mind training and um, to achieve enlightenment or to achieve nirvana or to, to achieve peaceful. So, so therefore, um, everybody should focus on scholar as well as the practitioner. Scholar helps to understand deeper level of the message of Buddha and Nalanda, Nalanda masters, so on. And then real practice will affect your daily life or long run life, or you'll be a di different person than many ordinary people. So that's um, before Lojong, I want to mention it. So really, uh, we're all looking for like long run happiness, like enlightenment and nirvana and so on. But we, we, we study that and we become a scholar. Every, everything is really relativity. And I've been spending all my life as a monk. And I, I might say I'm a scholar. I may be relative, relativity, maybe. Uh, somebody's much more deeper understanding than me. I'm not a scholar. So it's kind of like that. Everything is kind of relativity. So. So therefore, so therefore, um, I'm just requesting become scholar, and and then good practice. Otherwise, you know, you just study Buddhism and become a Buddhist scholar, and you might not help to um, to to get a job or to provide a, a shelter and. You know, and home and so on like that. So therefore, you know, like, uh, I know quite a few, um, you know, they did PhD on Buddhist philosophy and they hardly get a job and that has to do, like sometimes people have a kind of um, disappointment, you know, spending all this time I went to study and uh, so on. But now, see, I don't get a job, and my education doesn't mean anything. So if you are looking for, for the future job or living and should be doing something else, this is a main focus on mental health issue. And just um, um, special human being, I would say, like special human being. This is a, it is all about the mental knowledge and transforming yourself to uh, eliminate it and uh, anger to, uh, you know, loving kindness and compassion and so on. So we all need those more than anything, but modern world, consumers, and so on. It's kind of very difficult to, uh, uh, very difficult to not have all these modern gadgets, cell phones and tablets and, and, you know, the vehicles and so on. So it's kind of um, all the thing we need. So once you understand the deeper meaning of the Dharma and those all, you know, like uh, those all um, see as a useful and needy, but not really you are and something your, your, your cell phone, it works. You will not break in your heart. 
you know, it's okay. It, it, it can be, you know, if you have insurance, you can claim it. If you don't have insurance, maybe you work hard now that couple couple of weeks and maybe make able to buy another one. <laughs> So on, it's separated in it's kind of material thing and your, you know, your life and your uh, consciousness level or your health, so on. So, so dharma more help that way rather than um, making living or getting jobs and so on, so on. So when you separate, when you understand separate, and then you you will understand how dharma works in our life so that's uh, i want to mention it i've seen so many scholars and some of them you know i've been studying many many years i received hundreds and hundreds of teaching from his holiness and uh, and other many other great teachers and see so to transform my mind it takes you know years and years and years it's kind of so difficult so you have to have a long, um, long run project. This is a, even think about life after my lifetime. Also, kind of think about that. Then you will slightly see after ten years how my behavior, how my way of thinking, and so on. So it helps like that. Not like short moment. And to, today I'm not happy. I just do a little meditation. It will not help. So. So this is not really kind of painkiller stuff. This is a deep, deep, it's go in a deep. You know, modern scientists is very, very much up there, but they still cannot figure out where the mind is. The most scientists say this brain is mind, so it's kind of like that. So therefore, and this, this is um, uh, teaching. I study and I become scholar. And uh, then I main things practice and main things to uh, transform my mind. So once you transform your mind, you become um, such a, a great human being. So um, I usually tell people before becoming Buddhist, trying to become good human being. So, and uh, then uh, modern uh, world is very much focusing on physical body and televisions and so on. It's all all about uh, trying to uh, lose weight. They all kind of. Yeah, and I have been seeing many uh, yoga practitioners. It's a really great uh, physical um, outlook, but their mind is com completely, you know, upside down. Relations falling off, and, and having such such a pain there in inside. So therefore, you know, like so, we have to very important to take care of mental health issues. So all the other stuff is like we have a lot of uh, killings and so many things happening. It's mainly your mind. You cannot control your mind. Doesn't get along with your neighbors. Doesn't get along with your parents. Doesn't get along with your kids. It doesn't get along with your um, loved one. It's all about you know like mental health issue. So. If you are serious about that, this is a deep study, it helps. So such as we, uh, some of you guys are studying Shanti, Shanti Deva, Buddhist way of life, those kind of stuff. And then how I've been trained, and then those teachings are wonderful, not remain in the book, remain in yourself. So, when the teachings they talk about it, you think they are talking to me. So it's kind of uh, how we understand. There is no one step to practice, one step to study. Well, wherever you whenever you're studying, that's what part of your practice. So they are not, not too separate. And uh, so 
that is kind of um, my simple request because we all we all here together. We all here to one goal to be happy and to be long run happy, to be better person, to be more kind, loving, caring uh, through um, through society, through environment, through everything. So, therefore. You know, like uh, in order to change the world, we don't need thousands of people, but one person can change quite a bit. So therefore, you can change your loved one, your family, your neighbors. That will be more than enough. And throughout that, we can make entire society better. So we learn here, we bring that use in our neighbors. Be kind and be kind and be loving. Little thing, it's okay. Not only the simple thing, you have to, you know, you have to practice, you know, like, okay, my neighbor is real difficult. You know, tomorrow we have to talk. So I'll just do a little rehearsal. I'm going to take this way. I'm going to, you know, so that way you make better neighbor. So then honesty is key things to be honest, whatever you're feeling rather than, you know, rather than hiding, hiding someday and then it blow up. So step by step, you know. So, so we are here, uh, we're here together to little kind of talk about mind training, mind training. And so that I want to mention it. So really just, you should not miss uh, motivation and uh, gold of your dharma practice, gold of your, you know, um, study, and uh, and also the the kind of chaplaincy also part of that. You can be you can be your own family chaplain. So you just um, really practice and. You know, and uh, you can be very, um, you, you know, it can be built up in a culture way, you know, like, oh, you know, I should help my parents, you know. So it's a difficult, but everything is difficult when you look at a different angle. So therefore, difficult, I have to deal it. So kind of um, to helping each other. Helping each other is kind of a um, key factor of the chaplaincy thing. So we, we just think money will do everything. You know, we need something, we hire something. Yard need to be clean, we hire something. House need to be clean, we hire something. Something wrong in there, you know. So, so everything is like a external, internal is nothing. You are not worth anything. You don't want to serve somebody's company or somebody's job. You just work for not that. You can be capable for anything. So, so therefore, and just uh, in the beginning, you just mentality of the two, helping others, and especially helping your loved one, in pure motivation. Not only that's my mother, that's not my father, that's my uncle. Not only that thing. Just need help. I'm doing it. And then add, that's my parent, that's my relative, that's my friend. That's secondary. Firstly, we need it. And that's kind of more pure way to help others. So so goal is to we all kind of um, do meditation on compassion, love, and kindness. And uh, I love that me message, Dalama. Be kind, it is possible. We think we think it's not possible. We just something um uh, something impossible thing. You think it's impossible. But when you when you separate it and it becomes possible. When you, when you take as a 
bundle, it looks like impossible. For example, uh, 100 kilo, 100 kilogram sex, somebody asked me to move to another room and I could not move whole 100 kilo. But then I separate few pieces, I can able to do that. So those impossible also, when you look at it, it's impossible. When you separate it, they're also possible. So you need to take as a as a bundle. So kind of like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of um, no artificial, you know, I'm here not for artificial, I'm not for here to play Dharma, and you know, just, you know, like, whatever my my feelings are, how things going around me, how things are, so I just share, this is an opportunity to we sit together and share something, and there is no any Dharma or any kind of uh, things to play, so it's kind of like that. So, um, how much we have time until noon or what? Twelve fifteen. Okay. So then, uh, the, this was um, I received from His Holiness. Uh, so, um, uh, for attachment. So attachment is really kind of scary stuff, and uh, attachment is very scary stuff. Anything you attach to it is kind of uh, difficult to. Um, so therefore, um, the, the first thing is, it is unnecessary act with religion. Unnecessary and necessary is very important, very important, because um, uh, we have to we have to different different head different uh, we have to have a, a differential head because of the it's really necessary or necessary so for example i have a you know saturday off so i have a few different you know going on in a saturday my day off so now you have to make a best decision. So this Saturday, what I want to spend time time with, either I want to do hiking, or either I want to visit my parents, or either I want to do some volunteer job, whatever, you have to make best decision. So therefore, um, the talk about necessary and unnecessary. Spiritual practice is necessary, and then worldly things is non, non, uh, non necessary, unnecessary, unnecessary, right? So therefore, um, we a lot of time we engage in unnecessary stuff. We just uh, judge ourselves. So so therefore, kind of uh, religion means to. Save from the negativity act act uh, negativity action and the kind of uh, whatever you do, it comes with the purity and pure love, pure compassion, pure thing, and uh, just um, um, I'm going this Saturday to volunteer because I'm bored or nothing else to going on. You know, I might come across with somebody and just hang around with their time pass or so on so on. That's it. That's it. You, you are engaging with good kind of thing, but then wrong kind of motivations, wrong intentions. So intention. So therefore, you know, like um if you have a good intention, good motivation to visit your Saturday to your parents and good intention, you will be good time there. And uh, so, if you visit them, you know, not good intention. Okay, I have to go. It. I don't like to do it. And means it's kind of um, 
your your time and your everything will be not as you wish because of the nobody ruined it as you were ruining it in the beginning your motivation and your intention was kind of not that pure so we all want to have a pure love pure compassion pure everything so we have to plant the seed of purity good intention good intention is keeping really really uh, good intention but also not unless you are unless you are um familiarized you have to you have to acknowledge it. You have to enforce it to have a good intention. Okay, I'm going there. This is a very important. This is a, you know, some, to add it, add it, it's become so, <clears throat> so, without goodness, not delicious, we just put more salt or more other thing, you know, make it more, more juicy or whatever, you know, like, <laughs> so, so, uh, so a lot of time we put sugar in, and the sugar was bad for the health. So not like that. So therefore, uh, good intention, good intention. So uh, just you know, like uh, the, the necessary, unnecessary. That's uh, that's very important. And uh, for the um, then, uh, first uh, the last. And I did, I did read yesterday also, I kind of still I'm going to, a lot of new people, so I'm going to read this one again also. Um, um, so this uh, teaching I received a um, number of times. Last one is the one of the uh, group of senior uh, government employees, and, and they all requested to his to give it this teaching. So, hey. Uh, if, uh, the, if you have attachment to this life and you are not a religious person. So, simple thing is that, you know, taking care of yourself, taking care of self also, it's a, it's a, um, many things. There's no one, one, uh, one answer, taking care of yourself. So normal, if you're taking care of yourself, your ego and your selfish and your just, you know, like um, uh, your self-centered mind, you know, like driven, taking care of yourself, which is not, which is not perfect one. And then normal, this is, um, you know, the, uh, I wanted to be good health, so I want to help, you know, entire sentiment to your loved one. So no, you are not surviving also, only for not your ego, no selfish thing. So just, oh, and also, everything, your activity, you can um, be dedicated to others. So why dedicated other? why not myself? And with yourself, which is, brings all the unhappiness. So you want the unhappiness or you want happiness. So your goal is happiness. You are creating unhappiness. So therefore, because think about all, almost every necessary for a survivor is coming from others. Your clothing to your shampoo to your, you know, everything, you know. Cup of coffee also coming from so many, and also cup of coffee also you know, involved with so many people. We, we don't grow coffee here, right? It's coming from other countries, the harvest people and picking people and everything. You know, think about the cup of coffee. You can make it on hours and hours. You know, so you think that's mine? I paid it. My where your money? You paid it. Where your money come from? Somebody. Keep your job, and they pay you. That's not also you didn't produce, you didn't print. So it's kind of your kind. Your kindness can generate so many, uh, so many ways. So therefore, so our desire is to be happy. So not eat very happy. Not like short temperate, you know, like hungry feed by little piece of sandwich. Not like that. It's like. 
you know, we wanted delicious, breathtaking food. So therefore, we have to create it. If we pay a sandwich, pay for the sandwich, wish to have a delicious big meal, it wasn't gonna, not going to happen. So therefore, it's, it's almost like that. So therefore, and therefore, you know, just um, uh, the uh, Lama Chiba says, is, you know, self-caring and self-love um, and, and all this thing is created of the pain and suffering. So, so therefore, um, smart, intelligent, and the Dharma and philosophy and Buddhist science teach you proper kind of uh, um, way of thinking and uh, way of doing and everything. Why do you do meditation? Why do you do this love and compassion to extend it to others? So, oh, you need it long and perfect and uh, um, strong in happiness. So therefore, you have to cause those uh, awful seats. So therefore, um, therefore, this is what you're talking about, you know, when you um, in, attach in, you attach in this life. And uh, so therefore, this create a lot of negative, negative. So once you create a negative, it grows negative. So this, for example, this life attachment and that attachment in this life, how scary is how scary is that, you know? Like so therefore you just do anything for in in uh, uh, for this life. This life means you know um Sometimes people, uh, it's hard to think about next life also, you know, like hard to think about. But when you really properly study and proper um, practice and you will gain belief there is a next life. That also not somebody said, you just come up with yourself. Then that's only one option to really study. And you, you do analysis yourself, analytical meditation, and all those authentic teachings, you know, kind use and thing use and all the other things. You just go through that. And then you will, uh, you will, um, you will, deeper level, do you see, there is, there, in first it might be a bit doubt, maybe there is less life. So, okay. Otherwise, you know, when you think, that, oh, if I die, my body will be cremated, and where did my consciousness goes? Where my consciousness? This, this also, you know, die with the body or not? So how you you imagining consciousness dies? So in Tantra Yana, whether Yana talk about very detail of the you know, consciousness. Where is the consciousness also? A lot of people think consciousness is right here, and consciousness is everywhere. So it's kind of a uh, skin and then uh, tissue, and, and other, after that, uh, you know, like bone, and between this uh, wind level, it's kind of, it's almost like a wind. So it's like that. So, so therefore, point is, and point is, you causing a lot of problem and negativity and attachment attach on this life. I need more money. I need more saving. I need a better job. I need all these things. Yeah, you know, files on only survival of this life. So once you not attach on this life. And this life, you know, according to the karma, you can it goes, you know, whether you put a lower layer of attachment or not. It will it will move on. Even on how long you live, 80 or 90 or whatever, it will move on. 
you attaching attach this life and it's all causing negative problems. Me and mine. You know, I want better. I want faster. I want this. You know, so even though I want also being hesitated to be with you, it, it's kind of like that. So, um, so doesn't mean you don't uh, live better life. Doesn't mean you don't wear nice clothes. Doesn't mean uh, don't do exercise. Don't, doesn't mean don't take a vitamins. You know, don't attach means you don't take a, a you know like uh, misunderstanding. Without attachment, anything you do, it turns to the joy and it turns to the happiness. So now you decide it. You want to do with attachment or without attachment. It is, it is his choice. And here, culturally, it's me. I'm a very important. Me and I'm me, 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 right? Important. So it's kind of like that. It kind of... Uh, culture like that. So therefore this this teaching teach you separated from uh, these things. So so if somebody if somebody who goes in uh, you know study and meditation and in church or you know like temple or whatever and you say you're no religious person, the first thing you may get angry. You may get a mad. I am. I go church every Sunday. I do this practice, that practice. I do volunteer. I do this. So, if you are missing thing, but then you are not doing the right thing, then you don't get proper result. So we are looking for the good result, you know. So therefore, we have to cause the good result. So that that means, um, in a time to time to not attach on this life and everything flows different way. We, we have a culture to look after yourself, look after yourself, you know, look after yourself. I mean, for me, it's kind of a little awkward understanding. Self, look after yourself. Doesn't matter, look after yourself. So it's kind of like, like that. And, and, we need to live understanding of the selfish thing. So, for example, for a simple example, something and there's a there's a uh, there's a coffee shop. There's two um, um, carrot cake or pink, a carrot cake or cheesecake or whatever. There's one and two person right there, right? Okay, so. You know, I want, he wants, he's very young. You know, like, there's one, right? There's two, I can then maybe it's maybe half or half. All day, you take it, you take it. I, you know more than I do, you take it. Oh, he's such a nice person. He just offered me. How, that's a part of the thing. Attachment holds, you want it. You are the first, you need it, you know, like that. And attachment, let's go, you know, just, just somebody make more happy. So that makes both are happy, you know. I offer, I become a wonderful person, and he or she got it that, I got it by. So is it, I think it together win, right? So we all want that kind of stuff. So therefore, so there. The next one is, and um, if you have a treatment to and extends you are not uh, renounce you are not renounce so 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 renunciation is another difficult stuff it's a renounce it's kind of difficult stuff you know like um a lot of time uh, have a misunderstanding also renunciation and just as I said before just like uh, you know renounce everything, give away everything. You don't need anything. You, you know, just you're almost like um so it's not that. You just separate from the uh separate it from the wealth, separate from the your 
ego suffer from the, uh, you know, joy and, you know, like, so all, all the kind of uh, renounce means, you know, like, goal is looking something better, better, better life, better health, better, you know, home, better, but non-attachment way. Is it right? <laughs> so it's kind of mm, yeah, like that. Then now, um, now then, then the third one is um, you the achievement in your own purpose. You will not, um, you do not have enlightenment thought. So that also very similarity kind of thing. And all about attachment, they talk about attachment. You know, you are, you are looking temporary happiness, you're looking temporary kind of stuff. You're not really looking enlightenment. And uh, it's kind of um, on purpose, everything on purpose, you know, just like uh, me, me, my, 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 something like that. On purpose. Um, uh, almost a same similarity of that, uh, you know, piece of cake, you know. So you just, uh, uh, enlightenment thought, that's kind of um, um, very important goal. There need to be a lot of sacrifice. So, and then uh, next chapter comes, you know, uh, the then next uh, how to be a not attachment for you know, for attachment, how to avoid the poor attachment, and uh, next comes uh, the morality practice. Morality is there's a six perfection of wisdom among the six perfection of wisdom. Um, the morality is like yeah, among the our six perfection. I is most important thing. So just like that, and the morality is like our among the six perfection. Six among the six centuries, I is the most important thing. So therefore, if you don't have a morality practice, you don't have a base foundation to go any virtuous action, any. Um, positive uh, activities and so on. So that's again, the morality practice he, on a, in a house, example as a house is the foundation. So, uh, so, um, when also you you're looking for peace and happiness and uh, loving kindness also grow from the morality so moral practice is the key thing um if you don't have a moral morality practice um you get a jealousy and hatred anger all this lack of morality practice and uh, without morality practice, um, it lead to Laura, and uh, uh, it lead to Laura, and it's seed of the leading to Laura with, with without morality practice. So that's kind of um. um for attachment to um, to eliminate it, to um, to get rid to those poor attachment and uh, eating to practice the morality practice. And once you have a morality practice, your practice will be uh, stronger, and that grows all the. Um, all the all the knowledge 
and uh, also um, the uh, uh, clear the, your ignorance, understanding of the more deeper uh, level of the um, the teaching of uh, teaching of Buddha, and uh, it's it is almost like a, a darkness. There is light that illuminated darkness. So just like that, with with moral morality practice, and it will be. Uh, uh, Blocked the ring connected to lower realm. And uh, it also gained your meditation practice to all the, um, the, uh, all the, your virtuous action or growth. And uh, you, you will be more, more motivated to hearing the teachings, contemplating the uh, uh, contemplating the teaching and the uh, teaching of philosophy or teaching of Buddhist science. So it works to um, Hellram also. And uh, uh, do it all. and also it blocks to reincarnate to lower them like animals and hungry ghosts and, and those things. And it uh, also helps to uh, reduce the worldly dharma, worldly concern. And, and uh, then motivated to, motivated to, um, motivated to um, more <clears throat> faithful practice and your meditation will be more accomplished and, and uh, especially um, the um, analytical meditation and also single pointed meditation will be more, um, more clear, more strong, more strength, so on. So it's kind of uh, the morality practice is a key thing. And if you, you know, like normal non-believer or non-religious person is just <laughs> husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, if they are faithful to each other, that's their part of part of moral practice. That brings trust. Then brings uh, trust. Brings you know, kind of um, peaceful and and so on. It's kind of a simple simple step. It's common sense, you know. Like if you don't trust, and then there's a way of um, you know separation or divorce or, or you know like arguing each other all the time and like wonderful life turn to the miserable life. So no one wished to be miserable life, and that's kind of, um, and then there is no way to talk about um, we doesn't get along or we uh, we don't like each other or something like those kind of will not happen. So, <clears throat> so something like that. Then, um, if you do meditation. And uh, your desire, ignorance will be reduced. So, but also not simple, sit like that, not really. You know, and you know, like used to Lama do uh, like a meditation in interview, you know. So, I think that's also very profound. Because um, sometimes we have a um, instruction, but some instructions are missing. You know, like even a car breaks down, there's a little thing missing. It will not function because little thing is missing, but it's not a huge thing, but little tiny things missing, which will not function. So therefore, a little can be missing. So it's, you have 
meditation interview, it's like guided and, and explain and and you don't want to spend you don't want to spend like hundred hour put wrong direction. So therefore if you fix it in better. So therefore and a lot of people might think about it, you know, I I meditate all the time. I'm I've met so many people like say I'm meditating hours and hours and hours. You know you can sit hours and hours like this. It's not it's just really it has to do with the you know exercise and the physical physical posture to you know Singapore meditation or analytical meditation or whatever. So it's proper instruction, proper meditation, and it comes to result. And it, as I said, you know, like my car broke down, there's everything looks okay. And then finally I figure out this little tiny spring is missing. That's why it's not functioning. So once you put that, it will start it, right? So just like that. So therefore, yeah. So therefore, meditation requires and proper meditation and proper instruction and things like that. And then you will um, you will own it. No, no, I, this is a worse, this is good. You know, something, uh, some medicines, it's a right away they give you affection, affect, you know, pain or whatever. So just like that. So therefore, uh, meditation is important and then proper meditation. And I really tell my, you know, uh, my cousins and things like that, if you cannot do meditation, trying to sit 15 minutes every day, some corner. If fall asleep, that's okay too. You know, that's the beginning. You don't, every time you go 15 minutes, you don't want to fall down. You someday you get tired. And someday it's also good, you get mind to relax. If you're tense, you won't go to sleep, you know. So just sit in corner and try to practice that. Every day you do that. And then, uh, then someday you say, okay, this is not good only sitting 15 minutes. I have to do during that time something. So then story and step by step. And it, then, then you add it in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. So, so just kind of, um, you have to, this monkey mind, you have to really uh, twist it him properly. Otherwise, he will not ready to listen to anything. So it's a while, it's a very uncontrollable monkey mind. It's really so, therefore, you have to do it. It's kind of like that. So when you sit in, even the, even the uh, of his, uh, most important teaching on the own and his disciple showing his butt. Right? Remember that? Yeah. What a teaching, you know. My teacher showed me his teaching. He said that's the most important teaching in method. He showed his butt. So, so it's a horrible thing to do it, you know. So now, say behind message, yeah, I, it's in like, uh, it become like a rock. So that's the result of how I did meditation in practice. So you should be doing that. That's you have to understand that thing. So otherwise, you know, like sitting in the corner, sitting during an hour, it's a wasting time. Other, otherwise, you can do something else. In, it's within an hour, you can do so much. The time is here. Yeah, now, yeah, that's it. You know, it's not getting over it. You just see this book, there is a book and you read, and it's 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 very good for you. Okay, so, any discussion? Yeah, let's have a... There you go. So I'll have a Patty um, can do this, and then... Uh... And we have 15 minutes for conversation. So who would like to go? I'm not sure it is. I see you. Thank you for your talk. <clears throat> I've been reading uh, 
another Pema Chodron book, How We Live is How We Die. And she talks about um, a lesson she learned from, and I'm sorry, I won't remember, but one of her teachers uh, about what she should tell her children about how, how to live now uh, so that they're reincarnated the right way or something. I, I, I'm probably saying it wrong, but um, the advice she got or what the teacher told her was, you take with you your mindset. And so that's what I'm hearing from you that however you train your mind right now to behave is gonna come with you in the next life. So the better you are at training it now, the better position you'll be if you have to go to a next life. Yeah. 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 Normally you're a human being, you know, next will be better human being. Kind of uh, if you do good thing, you know. So <clears throat> one of the I remember the Dalai Lama teaching and some other teaching also said, if the moment you're dying, it's a consciousness is very important. That's the main cause of next life. So you can do lifelong practice, but minute you're dying, you just you know, disturbed by anger or jealousy or something, it ruins for your next life. So it's kind of, you know, that's why you, that's why my culture, when the patient is both and dying, we show holy image, Buddha and his holiness, and we say mantras and so on and so on. We don't show them our paths and we don't show them like our, you know, grandchildren and things like that. It will bring more attachment and things like that. So it's kind of. Thank you, Geshela. Uh, I, at the outset, you were talking about how we want happiness, but that our self-centered intentions lead to suffering. What can you, what kind of advice uh, or recommendations might you offer to clarify what our intentions are? Sometimes it seems like um, we act without being very clear about what our motivation is or what our intention is. Uh, do you have any advice on being more mindful about our intentions before we engage in any actions? Yeah, that's different. So many differences. So um, proper, mo proper motivation is to sense of, to help others because of uh, your survival also from others. So um, purity and uh, um, um, bodhicitta mind or um, common sense cause and effect and kind of uh, um, uh, the, as I said, you know, like motivation is intentions are key things to transform the rest of whatever you're doing it. You know, therefore they're therefore they requested Tongtanyi the Chawanyi. There's any positive activity, there's two most important things. One is motivated motivation, intention and dedication. So therefore <laughs> you know what 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 do you talk about but particular thing? Is there any particular um, thing for motivation or? I was thinking more just generally speaking. Um, not, you know, it sounds to me like what you're saying is to, to train our motivation, our intention, and to dedicate any merit after, you know, in particular when it were, um, we're engaged in meditation, right? But I'm just thinking more in general, like, day-to-day -day activities, being more aware of our intentions. Yeah. Oh, one in key thing you can do, I'm trying to practice that. As soon as you get up, you know, you just, morning you open your mind, open your eye, you say uh, these um, refuge and bodhicitta, you know. So you say that you just made your day, you know. So when you get up, you don't need to, you know, wash your teeth and not think about coffee, anything. Just as soon as you get up, you just say those um, bodhicitta prayers. And uh, so that will be set up all your day. 
So uh, I would there will be effective. Or also in the Sangha Chodha Togya Tonam, the Changyu Bodha Sangha Chodha Togya Tonam, the Changyu Sangha Chodha Tonam, that motivation and in Bodhicitta together, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, good. So, I, um, my little, what I'd like to add is, uh, traditionally, uh, your motivation plus who the teacher is and where the teaching is taking place and who with, right? So all the sutras start with the stuff I heard at one time. So uh, I'm going to suggest that people here, if you don't already, have um, some kind of a dharma journal, right? You know, so this, this day, October uh, 6th, so... <clears throat> You know, writing it down, this this teaching was received. Because um, sometimes we think, oh, uh, we, we know that already. And of course, we do know it on some level, but it has more impact when we remember who was there, where the teaching is from. So many times, uh, you know, people hear just to uh, be kind, and they say, well, yeah, I know that, but what about the nature of mind? <laughs> so I said, well, let's say, after a very difficult divorce and bankruptcy, you you happen to have an interview with uh, the Dalai Lama, and the Dalai Lama really just said, "Be kind." You you would remember that, right? You wouldn't think, "Well, that I know that already." <laughs> so, it, this is the way I feel about the teaching today. You know, so right near, I'm an accomplished practitioner, uh, you know, from own experience. Um, which I can verify. So, uh, uh, Geno and I have been through some interesting developments together. So, you know, uh, like practice situations, monastic situations, business situations, <laughs> everything. So, um, then you can see someone's character over time that is consistent. So you can write in your journal. Uh, at this time, we received teaching on the parting from the four attachments. And, you know, if, if you can remember a few people that were there, that's helpful too, right? So um, one time when I was studying, uh, my teacher said, uh, uh, you, you don't remember the people you were crucified with. So Jesus didn't forget uh, you know, there were two others crucified, right, at the same time. So you, you forget the people you laugh with, but you won't forget the people you are, you know, gave up your self with, right? So it's nice if you just remember a couple of people who are here today. So it's not just I was there, Gishigen was there, but also remembering a few Sangha members, then that would be, you know, beneficial like that. So how how's the Delac program going, Susan? <laughs> yeah, good. We had a good session yesterday. Yeah. There was a lot of good attention, and um, very good teachings and some very good advice. Yeah, it was it was a, a good day. So we're spending a lot of energy, and and we want to invite Michigan back soon. Right, so um, I want to add momentum to the program. Um, I think that having a, a Dele program as a basis, and then for those people that also want to uh, go on to chaplaincy, we'll have to do uh, extra training. But this is different than doing like a program online or just a certificate program because regular Scholar level, Western scholar level is your character isn't really examined. So you can get a lot of information, read the book, take a few tests, show up to class, but it's only through interaction and through kind of tutorial setting that uh, we can determine whether someone is, uh, you know, really has the right motivation and whether you can, and you can determine whether it's right for you or not. That's very important. So, uh, we're going to have lunch soon, but yeah. before that, um, I'd like to have a traditional cut line.
So um, I'd like if the board members were the first people up, you know, that would be the best. So um, uh, then, you know, that's a very nice traditional way to to greet. So traditional way, it's it's a way also for us to create a positive uh, future lifetimes so that we can all meet again in future lifetimes. So please come first. Yeah, Ellen comes first. Yeah, so. Well, we'll sing dedication while we're getting. So let let us put that. Let's sing dedication now. Can you put up on the board? Yeah. Due to this merit, these virtuous actions may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. Dream jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen, arise and grow. And then as it has arisen, not diminish, but increase more and more. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful generacy, tens and gods, so please remain. Now Lara ends. May the teachings of the Buddha flourish, and may the upholders of the teachings remain forever. May all migrators achieve happiness, every and ultimate goals. Song. Magical display of the deep awareness of all the victorious ones, merciful giver, a stream of profound and vast instructions to the fortunate migrators. Please remain always unperishing, unchanging, unfading. Oh, mani pamehum, oh, mani pamehum, oh, mani pamehum, oh, mani pamehum. Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Om Mani Padme Hum.
Jorge has always put the ones he loves first, but he's let his own dental care take a back seat. Time for a shift. Aspen Dental offers $29 exams and x-rays for new patients without insurance, making it easier to get started with quality care. Oh, um... 